So we're back with another study in sentiment. This time around to the euro, and just before the European Central Bank's monetary policy decision, where it's roughly a coin toss of whether or not they're going to stay on hold or kick it up by 25 basis points. Hello, everyone. Monty here, Mark Analyst on IG. And we are going to look at where traders stand, both large and small, going into the event, as well as, more importantly, how they got there. So let's go in and start with, start off with COT speculators. The majority buy uh, 70%, heavy buy territory, but dropping off from 74% uh, week on week. There was an increase in long positions, but there was a much larger increase when it comes to shorts. And that, of course, is something to note. Retail traders or IG client sentiment, we're seeing them at around 66%. I will pull up the platform shortly and, and show you guys where that is. But interestingly enough, so it looks like they're both, you know, very close proximity, 70%, 66%, but how they got there vastly differs. I'm going to pull up, uh, this is a daily chart, and what we're going to do is we're going to map sentiment onto it. Uh, remember, the dotted line, we're using the left axis, and it's as percent long. So whenever you see the dotted line at, say, 76%, it means that the majority buy 76%, and that means that the minority uh, 24%. And I like to put that red line there so we can see the 50, that's the 50% line using the left axis. So whenever the blue dotted or green dotted goes below it, it means that they're majority short. Whenever it goes above, they're majority buy. You can see that towards the end over here, you know, where we are now, very, they're in close proximity. They're both in majority buy territory. But throughout this period, from uh, mid July until now, COT speculators have been in majority buy territory, backing off a little bit from what were what was uh, near extreme buy territory, backing off to seventy percent as of late. And you can see that for retail traders, IG client sentiment, they were when it reached the top, they were actually in majority. They were majority shorts, and as prices came down, the, you know, the shorts got, got enticed into closing out, the long started to initiate, and now reaching heavy buy territory. And, and briefly, they were just shy. At one point, it was around 77%. Uh, they were just shy of extreme buy territory uh, before pulling back a little bit because of this gap higher. And I'm going to go ahead and pull up the weekly chart to give you guys a better idea of why is it that they were doing this. I'm going to once again map sentiment onto there. And once again, that, you know, this really helps to put that red line over there. And you can see that here. And when it comes to COT speculators, majority buy throughout this entire period, they were positioning for further gains. But as of late, they've started to get out. They're not they're not as optimistic now as they were before when 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 this, this bull uh, trend channel was holding initially. You look at retail traders, and because it was a bull trend channel, and I will bring up uh, IG's trading platform to map that channel as well as take a look at sentiment there. But you can take a look that you see that every time you know it would go up, whenever the channel reached sort of the top of the channel, you see them go. Longs are getting enticed into getting out. Shorts are initiating, so it's the peak in terms of majority sell. It then comes down. Majority buy. They go back towards majority buy. Price goes back. It makes another run higher. Once again, the longs get out, the shorts initiate it, and then when you see this, this pullback just to, over, to this end over here, which is the lower end of the bull trend channel, you can see that majority buy bias is actually higher because more are getting, you know, the, the longer it holds, the more enticed they are. More traders are going to be enticed in terms of trading that and getting in on, on the action. And when it reached this peak over here, you know, they, re, they were in majority uh, short territory because sells were initiating and longs were getting out, and he had this brief breach of, of the channel, and that's why you saw sentiment going uh, to, to into, into heavy sell territory, just shy of extreme sell territory, before they were relieved to see and very quick to get out. When it came back into the channel, very quick to get out, and then of course they went back to uh, majority buy territory. I'm going to go ahead and pull up IG's trading platform to give you guys a better idea of what I mean by this. This time around, I'm mapping this, this bull trend channel onto it. When it reached the top of the channel, it was a great moment, uh, and th the more it held, the better it was for traders to, and the more it really enticed them into saying, okay, let me go ahead and, and buy over here. Let me go ahead and short over here. This squeeze over here, when it reached near extreme sale territory, that's because it breached the channel. So a lot of them sort of got scared and they were quick to, to get out when there finally was a pullback, both because there was this nice pullback in price as well as because of the fact that you had a lot of shorts getting squeezed on this move. And now over here at this end over here, you know, it held and now, but then it got broken. And now all of a sudden it's, it's a big question for a lot of them in the sense that, you know, oh, is this, is this a moment of, moment of truth for a lot of those who are trading this channel? Are we getting another, you know, is this another fake, uh, uh, in this case, breaking beneath, fake breakout, or are we going to go ahead and move back back up? COT speculators not as convinced they're pulling back, and when it comes to retail traders, they have used this gap higher. This is, of course, following the weekend news. It was really the yen that outperformed but this and caused the greenback to weaken. They did use this gap higher to pull back when it comes to their client sentiment. I'm just clicking on client sentiment over here to see that they're now at 66%. Within the last hour, it's nice that we get within the last hour as well as today, we're seeing some buys because price is pulling back, so some of them are getting in. But this week and this month, it's been a situation where shorts have been initiating. And uh, so it is, a, it, I wanna say it's a key, key point when it comes to 
to both retail as well as COT speculators on whether or not this channel right here is going to hold. And the ECB being such a fundamental decision means we could end up with significant volatility, just especially because when you add to the fact that it's a coin toss. If it was already, you know, if it's priced in and they don't come in with any surprises, all right, fine, and things are pretty straightforward. But when when things are in the middle, it means that we have yet to really price in whatever it is that they're going to decide. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. Good luck out there. And as always, happy ticks.